All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, in about two days from now, the Int LR Gohan Extreme Z Awakening will finally be arriving on Global. And in today's video, I want to quickly break down everything that you need to know about the CZA to get you guys fully prepared. Now, before we talk about the actual EZA details, let's start with the Extreme Z Battle event, which is right here. So as you guys can see, the release date on JP was June 22nd, 2021, and it's coming out on Global on October 28th, 2021. And as far as the weaknesses go, just like with every other uh, LR Extreme Z battle up to this point, if you have units that have the legendary power link activated, then they will deal significantly more damage to Gohan. And then if you want to take less damage, then you want to bring as many units in the Androids slash Cell Saga category on your team as you possibly can. And obviously there is no increased drop category for this event. And moving on to the actual stages, there are, well, technically like 999 levels, but the only ones you have to worry about in terms of Extreme Z Awakening of the Gohan are levels 1 to 10, okay? So for each level between 1 to 10, you're getting three Dragon Stones per clear, you're getting some Extreme Z Awakening medals, and you're also getting a bunch of Int Orbs. And once it's all said and done, after you clear all 10 levels, you can expect to get uh, 30 Dragon Stones, 5 Int Grand Kais, 45 Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Gohan, which is everything you need, as well as enough Int Orbs to basically rainbow an Int unit. And we also have one extra mission here for three stones once you clear stage seven. So 33 stones in total that are up for grabs for this event. Now let's uh, take a look at the Android slash Cell Saga category. Cause as I said, if you want to take less damage, if you want to increase your chances of actually surviving, then you do want to run an Android slash Cell Saga team. And the best leader for this team is definitely the int lr cell but if you don't have him then the uh, int android 16 or the uh, battlefield int krillin are decent replacements and obviously for the friend you want to bring an int lr cell and for the rest of the team uh bring as many lrs from this category as you possibly can so great options of course are the uh, int lr cell the lr androids or sorry uh, the fizz lr cell the LR Androids, the uh, LR Trunks, the AGL LR Gohan, this Trunks is not bad either. And then bringing some uh, tanks that can stack defense like the Fizz Piccolo or uh, this Vegeta and Trunks are also good options, right? So you don't have to only bring units for damage. If you want to bring some more defensive units, then that's also not a bad idea. So uh, that is essentially everything you guys need to know about this Extreme Z battle, there is no additional damage reduction against a certain type like other normal Extreme Z battle events, but obviously you don't want to bring any tech type units because they won't do very well against the uh, Int LR Gohan. So there you go, that is the Gohan Extreme Z battle event. Now let's finally talk about what this Extreme Z Awakening actually does for the unit. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, buff key super attack causes mega colossal damage, 18 key super attack mega colossal damage and greatly raises attack for one turn, and passive is attack plus 18% for every key sphere obtained, and key plus 1 whenever key is raised with key spheres. Now, for my newer players out there, for people that just started playing this game, in the last, I don't know, six months to 12 months, or maybe even like one or two years, I don't think you really understand how ridiculously overpowered uh, this Gohan was when he first came out. Okay, so this guy originally dropped like, I guess close to four years ago. And back then he was an absolute juggernaut, man. Like the amount of damage that he could do and just how much harder he hit than basically every other unit in the game was insane okay so for his time he was extremely extremely good and this was back in an era where defense was not really 
as important because the enemies didn't hit nearly as hard as the enemies these days, right? But of course, over the years, um, the events have gotten harder and defense has definitely taken a much more important role in Dokkan, right? So as a result, this guy has really suffered because he literally has no defense to speak of and he's just really not very usable at this point, right? So the Extremes the Awakening does address those issues, but I think the problem that a lot of people in the Dokkan community have taken with this EZA is the fact that the defense is kind of the only thing they addressed, you know? Like they didn't really seem to put too much effort into making this EZA uh, unique in any way. In fact, I would argue it's one of the most boring EZAs, uh, at least for a, you know, LR or a Dokkan Fest unit out there. Obviously he's not Dokkan Fest, but he is a summonable LR, so there's a certain standard for units like this, right? And I think for that reason, uh, many people are quite disappointed with this EZA. And I'll go into more detail about it once we go over the EZA details, but I just wanted to manage people's expectations a bit before we started, you know? So jumping over to the Extreme Z Awakening now, the leader skill will become int types key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%, 12k super attack, raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage, 18k super, greatly raises attack for one turn, raises defense for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage. New passive, defense plus 58%, plus an additional defense plus 58% when performing a super attack, and then attack plus 18% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. So this was the original passive, this is the new part, and like I said, you know, they definitely addressed his main issue, but that's literally all they did, you know? Like, there's no additional flavor text, or not really flavor text, but like something to make the unit more interesting, maybe specifically against like Cell Saga enemies, or Cell enemies, or anything like that. And uh, of course, people wanted him to get a boost for his um, attack per key sphere as well, or maybe just a regular boost for attack on top of the 18% for every key sphere, right? So maybe he starts off with 50% attack, and then you still get the 18% um, attack per key sphere obtained. Because, you know, sometimes you just don't get a lot of key spheres, right? So on some turns where you can only give the Gohan two or three key spheres, he's not going to be very impressive at all. And then, of course, in other situations where you can get this guy like 10 plus key spheres, he's going to be absolutely insane. But on average, it's more likely that you'll only be able to get him a few key spheres, and that's why people wanted that uh, guaranteed boost as well on top of the nuking passive, right? So... I do see where a lot of the complaints are coming from, and the more that I think about this EZA, the more that I feel like they really could have done more with him, you know? And another issue is the fact that even with the uh, boosts to his defense, he's not that crazy of a defender, you know? It'd be a different story if this guy was getting like, I don't know, 300,000 plus defense on uh, turn one, or maybe if he was even a stacker, right? He was getting like defense every single super. That would be a different story. But even with the defense boost here, he's very bad as a slot one unit, right? Because he only gets the 58% defense before he supers. And then after he supers, he does become more than twice as tanky, but even then he's not gonna be consistently tanking for you, right? So um, if they were only going to give him defense, I do think they could have given him more defense. You know, they could have made him a, a infinite stacker or at least like raise defense for six turns or something like that. Just gone more in that direction of a tank, right? But instead, you know, he's just a okay tank now. His damage is definitely better, but not like significantly better, right? So, um... 
I guess in a word, this easy A is kind of average. Um, I've heard people call it mid, and while I try to resist that word, it's not like super misplaced here, I guess. I like to go with average. I think it's a pretty average easy A. I think it's a pretty good easy A, nonetheless. But it could have been a lot better. And for a unit that's as iconic, a character that's iconic as Int LR Gohan, he deserved to be more broken, in my opinion. So, I guess uh, that's really all there is to say about Int LR Gohan. Still gonna be a really good unit after the Extreme Z Awakening, but he could have been so much better. And, uh,. To be honest, I don't see myself running him a ton, at least over some of the other LR Gohans, even after this Extreme Z Awakening. Like, I don't see myself running him over the uh, Tech Bojack movie Gohan, but obviously not everyone has, you know, all the Gohans at their disposal, so if you only have this Int LR Gohan, he's still a good choice for your Hybrid Saiyans team or whatever you want to run, but I think the Tech one is still significantly better. And, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, man. That is the Int LR Gohan Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about him. Do you think he's, uh, being underrated? Do you think he's getting more hate than he deserves? Or do you feel like me, where you think he's pretty good, but just not maybe good enough? Maybe not as good as he could have been. He's just kind of average you know and uh yeah guys that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching uh good luck on your extreme z battle runs i'll probably post a video or do a stream when the event drops so you guys can do it with me together and uh, as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join this Hyger squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs>